Welcome to the Enemy Territory, Quake Wars Demo. This briefing will prepare you to fight with the Global Defense Force against the invading Strong Army. Here's the situation. Your team has a base in the southeast corner of the valley. Your orders are to cross the valley, capture the outpost, infiltrate the Strong facility, and destroy the contamination device. The GDF has five specialist classes to choose from. Soldier, Medic, Engineer, Field Ops, and Covert Ops. Once you select your class, you will see the weapons and special equipment available to you. Some classes may change their main weapon. However, we recommend you stick with the default loadout. Be sure to review your mission objectives, as well as their corresponding locations on the map. Engineers, Field Ops, and Covert Ops can use a special deployment tool to place fixed position weapons and structures that are crucial to maintaining dominance on the battlefield. Select the deployment tool by pressing 5. Cycle through the available emplacements by pressing F. Using the mouse, move the wireframe model of the structure to a green spot on the ground. Click the fire button to choose a position, and then move the mouse to rotate the structure to point in the direction you wish for it to face. Click fire again to complete the deployment order. Once deployed, GDF command will send in the structure via transport helicopter and drop it into place. Covert ops can deploy radar installations that can track enemy units in the field. Engineers can deploy anti-personnel, anti-vehicle, and anti-missile turrets. Field ops can deploy artillery, rocket artillery, and long-range hammer missiles. The enemy can disable and even destroy these weapons, so keep them protected. Whereas the turrets placed by engineers will acquire and neutralize targets automatically, the field ops long-range weapons must be targeted and fired manually. Once artillery or hammer missiles are deployed and operational, field ops can select the targeting binoculars by pressing 7. Aim at your target through the binoculars, hold down the fire button to secure the coordinates, and the weapon will fire on your target. Your first objective, you need an engineer to construct the nearby bridge. Once you're on the ground, all units should immediately proceed to support the engineer around the construction area. Engineers can construct the bridge by hitting the F key when in range and firing to construct it. Medics keep the engineers alive at all costs. If we don't get across that bridge, the Strog will pin us down. Covert Ops should move forward to scout for enemy activity. Soldiers with anti-armor weapons should establish a perimeter, while Field Ops sets up artillery to weaken Strog defenses. Once the bridge is up, all units must escort the MCP, or Mobile Command Post, to the central outpost. Be advised any class can deploy the MCP, but engineers should be on hand to keep it repaired and operational. Anticipate heavy resistance. The Titan tank and Trojan APC can provide excellent escort to the MCP, which has only limited defensive capabilities. Expect the tunnel to get hot real quick. Medics and engineers must keep the convoy moving. Soldiers and covert ops must clear the central outpost of resistance before the MCP can safely deploy. If you find a location entrenched, field ops can also call in an airstrike by marking the target. Once the MCP is up and running, the outpost is ours. We'll have a Nancy attack craft available for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground strike capability, as well as the Buffalo transport helicopter. With the outpost under GDF control, the SSM is in range of the contaminator building. However, the shield generator must be disabled first to lower the strong defenses. The team must provide cover for the covert ops to get to the shield generator and disable it. Field ops must continue to bombard enemy positions with long-range artillery. Use a combination of ground and air vehicles supported by anti-armor, and you should be able to neutralize their defenses and get covert ops in to do the job. A covert ops can hack by hitting the F key when in range of an objective or deployable and firing to disable it. Once the shields are down, the MCP will stand ready to launch a hammer missile to breach the building housing the contamination device. Finally, soldiers must enter the contamination facility and plant an HE high explosive charge on the device. 
you can expect a strong counterattack, so keep your main force outside and in control of the base. Once you confirm the target has been destroyed, the GDF has won the match. Quick recap. An engineer must build the bridge, then anyone can drive the MCP into the outpost. Followed by a covert ops hacking the shield generator, and then finally, a soldier must plant a heavy explosive charge on the final objective to win.